everybody. Coming at you from out in the woods, and we have behind the camera, hey we have Nick. And today, we have a new piece of gear. <laughs> I'm very, very, very excited about it. And we're going to build a shelter frame with it. And uh, in a previous video, I did a axe versus machete. And there was a lot of comments about uh, saws. You should carry a saw. And so, I guess maybe there was a lot of people that didn't watch my previous videos, but I told them I'm a big saw advocate. That I either either have a folding saw or a bow saw. Folding saw is good for crafting, and a bow saw is good for firewood. Now, the only problem with it, uh, a folding saw is very portable, and, and it does good for crafting, but it doesn't do good for bulk firewood. A bow saw is not that great for crafting. It's okay better for firewood but terrible to try to carry so the solution to it is a folding bow saw and there's a company called agua up in canada uh i mistakenly in my southern dialect pronounced them agawa but i found out it's agua but they have the boreal folding bow saw and i've got one right here can you see it on the back of my pack yet? yep so let's get this pack off and I'm going to get it out and I'm going to talk about it and then we're going to start sawing up some wood and we're going to try to build a shelter frame with it. All right, you excited? Yeah. Right. You can, it's funny, you can already tell how much easier it is to carry the folding saw versus that. Oh, yeah. compare it Look to, at it. Yeah, compare it to Look that. how much better that is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's go over here and set this pack down so, so that I can be a little bit more mobile moving around finding some uh, wood to build the shelter frame out of. All right, you ready? Yep. All right. All right, this looks like a good flat spot right here, and there's a whole bunch of wood all around here. So let's get this thing off. This pack's kind of heavy because I brought my Belgian sleeping bag because it's kind of warm right now, but it's going to get cold at night. All right, so let's ease this thing down here. Still evidently warm enough for mosquitoes. Heck yeah. Well, not at night. They're not... They're not bad at all at night. All right, folks, you know the drill. Get ready for me to drop the camera a lot. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> all right, so it tends to happen there. a lot during the summer. Yeah. All right, let's get this off. I got my bungee cords. All right, now there's the bow saw. I'll take this off to so see if we can get some tree here. All right, now let's have a look here, and then I'm going to show you something else. I brought this. To show you something else okay now there's the difference right there okay this is a little bit bigger blade i think this is like a 30 inch blade and this is the boreal 24. all right now the way this thing works is this pops out okay it's hollow just like that pops out and then you lift out this piece of plastic and it's got like a tray where the blade goes in and then this folds this way this folds this way and there's a little notch right there just like that Boop, nothing to it and there's your saw there's your bow saw all right mm -hmm. now i'm going to make a pouch for this but i think they sell a pouch but also uh there's other things that i, I have other plans for how to pack this thing now one thing i want to show you about real quick all right uh there's a lot of different ways you can carry that just because of it. it's, you know, folding straight up and down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's... You can put it in the pack. It, yeah, it might hanging it out. in the pack. Yeah. But now, with a bow saw like this, as big and bulky as this is, it does a great job, but not many people can carry it like this. Now, for me, I made... I modified an Alice pack. This is a Hid Woodsman pack with an Alice frame, but I modified one to where I could use this as a frame because I got this PVC with it. But, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, not everybody can do that. Now, I want to show you something here. I think it's right. on a video somewhere. Yes, it is on a video. A couple of videos, probably. Now, I want you to look at the difference in these two blades here. Look at them very carefully. Now, if you're going to be sawing green wood, green wood is all wet and juicy and slimy. So, a, wet, a green wood blade has sharp teeth and then this weird section with this... this uh, like a scallop, I guess. So it's got sharp teeth, scallop, sharp teeth, pointy teeth. That's a greenwood blade. Now, if you look at this one, this one has pretty much all sharp teeth. 
and this is a dry wood blade this is for dry dead dry hard blood hard wood like that down there uh, now they call this I think when you go to order these I think they call this a rancher blade all right so but that's the difference if you see these weird looking little the little scallops in between the pointy teeth that's green wood all sharp pointy teeth that's dry wood now, I've already used this. You can see how the tips of the blades are war. <laughs> <laughs> and he just got it. And I just got it. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to try to gather up some wood. And we are going to do some sawing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try right here. I think I'm going to use, I think I like this piece right here. Yeah, let's use this piece right here. All right, you ready to do some sawing, Nick? Yay. Yay. All right, let's saw some of this right What here. you want to do is, before you saw... Right, you're sawing? Yeah. All right, now you're using the full length of the blade. Otherwise, because I've seen people do this. <laughs> like I said, before you saw and then you started sawing. Well, before you saw, make sure that you can stick a piece of wood under there to kind of lift up to keep from binding your blade. And that's one of the things about using the saw. All right, so I'm gonna kind of lift up. Now I'm gonna let it down. Now the blade's a lot tighter right there. But if I lift up, see how I'm opening it up? Mm -hmm. There we go, and that's really bad. Oh yeah, see, so it's not crushing the there blade. There you go. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we gotta decide um, well, heck, that makes it easier to saw anyway, because it's not crushing the blade in there, and you're not having to pull it back and forth while it's, you know. Right, exactly. Yeah, making it harder to saw. Right. All right, so this is going to be, I think, that's going to be, we're going to make a legs out of this, and I'm trying to decide, let's see, let's take this. I'm trying to decide, it needs to be about head high. I think that'll work right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay this like this and then I'm going to saw right here. Now before See, see, you can roll it too. So that's pretty good. Just throwing some sawdust. Yeah, it's throwing off some dust. Now I'm going to lift this up. Yeah, put that under it. Because it started to bind. Alright, now that's one of my legs. Let's drag this over here. Let's see what we can do here. Here's the other leg. This wood is hard, hard, hard. I can actually smell it. Huh? I can actually smell it. Yeah. Oh, you can hear it too with the way the blades cut. Bind. So we're going to lift that up right there like that. That was solid at an angle. Yeah, it ain't going to hurt nothing. But see, this is some good solid wood once I build a frame. It's not going to hurt anything. Gee, why does my shelter keep falling over? <laughs> it ain't going to hurt a thing. Now, this is still some pretty good solid wood, so... The beauty of this is we've got some plash palatkas and what that is is it's a poncho or you tie two together and it can be your shelter. So we can leave the frame set up out here for all winter and then as we come and go we will uh, bring our cover or tarp or palatkas. Now one other thing I want to say about this before we move on to the next part is 
with like a silky saw they cut on the pull stroke only okay so you got to be careful with them with this the push and the pull stroke does the cutting so uh, your movement per stroke is actually more efficient with this so that cool yeah that right. was good now we're gonna get the ridge pole actually this may well now nah, we're gonna get a different ridge pole it needs to be longer yeah let's get a longer one I think I might see some laying over over there yeah maybe I don't think this is long enough Let me look at it. or over there there's now, I don't know and I'm curious hmm let's see let me look at this for a minute See, I didn't plan none of this stuff ahead of time. Yeah, so I'm curious too, because I don't even know what you're doing. You'll see. It's a, it's a. I'm a just here to film. <laughs> it's a very cool shelter. Uh, nah, this ain't gonna be long enough. We're gonna have to go get another one. But I wanted these good logs right here. All right. Yep. All right, let's go over here and get another log. I'm gonna drag it back to camp. Okay. Another log right here. That actually, at the end, the other end of it, I think we've been here before. I think because there's chop marks on it. All right, so let's try to cut this thing off right here. That's pretty rotten. That's pretty rotten, but I think just out on the end, I think up there at the other end is pretty solid. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we've got a little bit more cutting work to do and a little more machete work to do. Sound good? Yep. All right, let's go. Got some bungee cords here to carry my uh, sleeping bag or bedroll. A lot of times these things will come in handy at camp because you can put them around a tree and use them for attaching items. I'm going to show you more about that in a minute. So let's unhook this stuff here because I don't really like my pack laying on the ground. All right, so let's pull out. All right, we got that. 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 Water bottle. That. All right, these are plash palatkas. I brought three because I don't, I don't know if two will be enough. But we can take these apart and use these as rain ponchos if we have to. And then I have a machete. Now, <clears throat> where's that other bungee cord? Okay. Now, when you're not using your pack. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff back in here. Put that in. We'll get that back out in a minute. We'll put this in. Put the water in. All right, now what you can do is on these Alice packs, what I like to do is you can attach one end to a tree, attached to the frame. Now let's take this thing. Now, whenever you're using your machete or not using your machete, a good place to keep the sheath around camp is attach it to a tree. That way, as you're using your machete, instead of laying it on the ground, losing it, you're going to see the sheath is there with your thing and you won't lose it. So what we got to do is this is going to be the ridge pole. You have to lift up the camera a second. Oh, <laughs> that leg. It's on the. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So what you want to do now is you want to all these little nubbies here. You want to clear all them off. Now, if you had to, you could saw those all off if you had to for a one tool off. But no matter how you do it, you got to remove them because all these little nubbies will put a hole in your tarp or your poncho or whatever you uh, prefer to use. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to show you the, the next steps. I got it cleaned up 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the saw. So here we go. I'm being safe with my machete. Attach it to the tree. Ah, let's go back to the saw. Let's see. Now the way I want to do this is I want to hold my ridge pole up and head height plus about two feet. So that's about, well, we'll go one saw length. Be right there. Right there. Now I'm going to show you what you want to do. So what you want to do is you want to make it to where it's got the natural droop this way. So we're going to saw this way. Now, what you want to do, I've said that three times, hadn't I? Yes. <laughs> you want... Just try going a, vid going a whole video without saying it. I should, shouldn't I? All right. Let's go with... A small notch. Like that. Let's get a knife out. What do we got in here? What is that in there? Oh, ferro rod. Let's pop this out. Because I don't want to go too deep. Alright, now that you got a notch on one side, you want to lift it up, you want to look at it. Let's see, that's going to be that way, so this is going to be, this will be the top. I'm going to put my finger right here, right like that. What we're going to do this. Are you trying to give it a pointed top? There we go. There we go. Even them up a little bit. Now if I have to, I'll do more to it. Now this is going to make sense in a minute. See how I got that notch like that? Yeah, but it doesn't make sense yet. It will in a minute. Wow. <laughs> wow. Alright. So let's go get the legs. We are going to saw some on the legs. All right. All right. So now we got us a batoning stick. And what we want to do is find where there's a natural crack in the wood. We want to cut. Let's see. We want to saw about, I'd say, about right here. About, yeah, right there. If, if that ain't good enough, we'll do more. Let's see. All right, saw so down about halfway, and then baton. And then you want a baton right there. I think I saw the wrong side. I should have saw the rotten side. Well, we'll see. Oh, yeah. That's knocking the other side off. Well, oh, I messed that up. I don't know if it's going to work. It might work. It's just a reminder, these videos are not edited to go perfectly. No. Things will go wrong. <laughs> I'll make another if that don't work. See, this one ain't rotten at all. So we're that you know saw. of, anyway. Huh? That you know of. Yeah. Yeah, that one ain't rotten. 
so now we're going to baton this. A little bit more sawing. Let's put that in there. We're going to be really careful. Saw to our mark. And finish batoning. I bet we got a knot. Man. <laughs> Man. Well. All right, a little more salt. <laughs> there we go. Or not. <laughs> Man. That is some stringy wood. And that's what it's supposed to be. Well, that, that is definitely not rotten. No. These are supposed to cross like that. And that is not going to work. I mean, you can still probably try it. All right, so I cut, I cut another piece. That's what they're supposed to look like. Okay. That other one was too rotten to work. Now, what you want to do is you want to take Take, let's put the longer one up down here. Now what you want to do is these things, can you see that? They mm -hmm. cross like that. You pick this up to where your notches are. And see how I've got the base of it against the tree right there? Okay, you want the base of it against the tree. And that is exactly why I said you want to look for the natural tree. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread these out a little bit. Like that, so that we've got this X. You might want to scoot that over a little bit closer. Shouldn't they be a little more flat against each other? That's a pretty well. You can carve them if you want to. Now, see those weird-looking notches? That's where they sit. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to move these legs around. Look, this sharp side needs to be. I cut the sharp side wrong. No, I mean, you can just reverse them. Let's see. Let me move this over. Now, what you got to do is, if you've got at least one of them in, now I can carve this other oh, one. Yeah, can. Okay, I can carve this other one a little bit more at an angle. Can you see how that's, bring it around here and see how it sits right there. Pick this up. That's pretty much it. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. How I'm lifting it up. So that's what you want, is you want that in there like that. And now I'm gonna take my saw. This is probably the most rock hard stable shelter yet. Oh yeah, well that is. Out of the whole video. Look at this. This is a good one now. Oh, oh, look out. Now what I'm gonna do. Something could probably land on this and it not even affect it. Oh yeah, this is a good one and there's, there's no forage involved. Now I'm gonna try to roll this up. I'm eyeballing it. I've, I've, I've got it right here. Right, so I'm going to cut in an angle, real steep angle, I don't get why he's cutting more, well, because this is further back, alright, so let's pull these back together, and see that thing's going to seat in there, up a little. It ain't moving now. Mm -hmm. Now this rolled over some. I thought it was fine before. Now it's still in this knot barely but it's really. Let me see this for a minute. Come around to this side. Let's see if you can film this here. See that? Mm -hmm. 
You see, you see how those notches are made? Yeah. So now that we've got all the sticks cleared out, the next thing you want to do is you want to lay down your sleeping bag. Now you can use a floor mat, but I don't have to. This is a Belgium bag, and it is tough as nails. Tough, tough, tough bag. If I can get it out. There we go. <coughs> Look at that. Paracord snagged it. Now, as I'm doing this, all these things, I'm throwing them over there in a pile. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Don't need these for now. Let's listen do this. Let's see if we've got the length. In our favorite. You put this bag here, just like that. Let's unzip it so we can crawl in. See how the underneath of it's a hard plastic? Mm -hmm. You don't even need a sleeping bag. Now, for the flash palatkas. A little word of advice if anybody ever owns any of these or tries them. You tie two together, and some people throw away the factory rope that comes with it. Don't do that. This factory rope, when it swells up, it seals the holes if it gets wet. If you put paracord, you'll get drips. Alright, so what we're going to do... If it's meant to be always joined together, then why is there a why is there a seam in the middle anyway? Well, that seam you could probably permanently sew them together, but what you got to do is you got to make sure that that overlap is over them. And if you'll stretch them out. That overlap is no big deal. Let's stretch this out. Now on the foot end, you can leave the foot end open a little bit if you want to to let air come through. Here in the winter time, you would want to put another one over. Pull this down and tuck this under, just like that. Now the thing about having so much of this out here, you might could get by with one. All right, you want this side overlaying the log. If you had one, the ground would get wet; it would flow under it. But if you've got all this, It'll keep the ground around it dry. And it may even flow off this way. Mm -hmm. The other thing... Except the fact that you put your shelter on a downward slope. Yeah, we're going to have to move it, but since we're already into the video, this is how... <laughs> well, you can't really tell on here. Yeah, we're going to have to move it. But anyway... At least it's not straight behind us. That goes straight down. I know. <laughs> put another one back here. Like that. And see now if you want to, you can just lay logs all over it. You don't even have to tie it down. Now what I may do, it's going to look funny on camera, I may have my head in at that end. Yeah, maybe what I'm going to do. Alright, now let's do something about this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to do a pot hanger. So that you can have a fire out in front of you front of your shelter. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So we are going to, this will also kind of show you how stiff the shelter is. If it collapses I'm going to look like an idiot. <laughs> but once you get it built, you want to cut a flat in the top.
All right, now you got a flat right here. That log never moved. See? It knockers, just barely bumped a little bit. But. Yeah, just barely. I mean, those logs ain't moving. I didn't even beat them in the ground. So now what you want to do, take your knife. Oh, that's a 73 forge. And you want to put a dimple right in the end. <laughs> right at your, right at your your face. <laughs> you want to put a good healthy dimple in it. Remember, you want to hold the knife in a stabbing motion directed towards your chest. <laughs> I think you'd say something about that. Make sure you're far out in the woods. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Now. Let's see. Hey, that was another good log. There's and your shelter, there. the color of your shelter matches the wood so nobody can find you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to need one at a, it's about chest high. I'm going to cut a log over here about chest high. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So now we got this piece up here. It's flat with a dimple. And we have this thing. So what you want to do is you want to kind of aim it like this. And you want to leave a little bit up at the top for kind of like a counterbalance. Well, it's going a little bit still. Yeah. All right, so about right here, what we're going to do is we're going to make an X. Like. An X and an X. And you want to saw at an angle. Like that. About halfway in. And then we're going to pick up on it. We're going to clear some of this out. Alright, so now let's take our knife. Let's pop this out. Let's pop this out. So we can see what we're doing. We're going to pop this out. Skeeds still bothering you? Oh, yeah. Right. Hey, where these are uh, big and brown, those mosquitoes. Now that we can see what we're doing. Anyone know the difference between the smaller, blacker mosquitoes and the big brown ones? No, I don't know. I certainly feel the brown ones a lot more. I have never studied mosquitoes. I'm going to go back to school and study mosquitoes. <laughs> you going to be a skeeterologist? Yeah, I'm going to be a skeeterologist. <laughs> All right, so now we got a point. Let me make my point. All right, so what I got to do now is I got to trim some of this excessive off. So I'm going to take my knife, trim that off, put that on, just like that. Now we're going to uh, make our Let's see, our, uh, I think we're going to make it right here on the end. Set that down just like that. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. It's probably a good idea to clean the entire stick anyway so that you don't drop bark into your pot. Put that there. All right, so I'm going to cut down at an angle. Hold on. Right there, let's put this back to use. There you go. Wait a minute. Or not. Maybe not. Got an notch in the, in the spare wood. I probably could because it's, well, I don't Got a notch in it. That's not going to help you. That ain't going to work. This is starting to irritate me. Hey, this is fun in the woods. You it's have to the, have fun. Look, it's the duff. It's so deep, it's just falling in. Hey, how about we do this? There you go. Just dig a hole with it. And where'd it? Here, let's try And then he spent 10 minutes trying to cut a... <laughs> hey, there's some of that cord. See right there? It's like hemp, hemp or sisal or something. Yeah. It swells up when it gets wet. Now, 
let's put it on there. Let's do it this way. Oh, so you can see my beautiful new saw. Ooh, look at that saw. <laughs> Man, this is this is irritating me. Yeah. No, the saw bouncing off is not the saw's fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a ridiculous way this is uh, being cut. Yeah, it's the way I'm holding it. I'm not. I really should lay. Not it on down. the saw, folks. I really should lay it down like this. Now, word. That is some poor knifemanship. Just okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock the camera mount in place so I can oh, wander no. off in the woods. Well, that took care of that. You broke it, didn't you? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, we can. All's not lost. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Not a big deal. we go. Now let's see if we can pop that out. There we go. It doesn't matter as long as you've got something at an angle like that. Oh, let's put this off. There you go. Yay. Now, let's get it. A pot. And roast some mosquitoes. Yeah. There you go. Ta da. Ta da. Let's see what you can do now. Let's clear a spot out. Now we're liable. There is so much forest duff and pine straw and leaves and debris here and what you can do is put another notch up there so that this is adjustable but I mean it's, it's just like that one notch it, it doesn't matter all right now we're actually down to dirt If you want to, you can put rocks around it. But it's not cold enough for a warm fire. I mean, for a uh, to stay warm with a fire. That sleeping bag's more than enough. But you would want to clear a huge area. But probably what you want to do now is put some rocks there. And that will be for coffee in the morning. All right. How's that sound? Perfect. Now, let's see if I can crawl into that shelter. Of course, I was more thinking coffee at the end of the video. Well, we're actually going to have to move the shelter, I think. Unless I can... Oh, yeah, that's right, because we're on a hill. Yeah, unless I can crawl in the other way. I may try that. I don't know. Let's see how it looks. All right, there is the coffee pot holder, or pot holder, <clears throat> and there... Is the shelter. All right, Nancy, you got the camera? Yep. All right, let's see if we can crawl in. Oh, See, I was in a hurry to film. I was in a hurry to film. Yeah, we don't even have my sitting bucket. I'm having to sit on a log. <laughs> I'm having to sit on the log that he messed up. Ain't you glad I messed one up? Yeah, could you mess up a couple more for me? I can make myself a chair. <laughs> All right, let's put this over to the side. Let's see if I can crawl in. I may try to crawl in. I'm telling you, if I can crawl in the other way, we're just going to leave this the way it is, and then we'll go set your hammock up. Uh, there. All right, I'm going to crawl in. 
And for laughs and giggles, I'll crawl in the other way. Now this ain't bad at all. I'm just gonna move over here. Yeah, move over there. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how, you doing? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? Now I have no fear. We gonna zip us some more. Sir, please leave your clothes on. Oh, they're on. <laughs> now I have no fear. <laughs> Of this shelter collapsing. Now I'm gonna tell you something else. During a really really cold winter and when it's really raining you can set this up with these palatkas and then you can take a Harbor Freight tarp that's like I think it's a 12 by 12 and then lay it over the top and you've got double wall stopping really stopping the wind and the cold from socking into you. I can already feel my body warmth in here. So, all right, as a. Do you remember the signal SOS to that plane? Yeah. Oh yeah. Dot 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 dash dash dash. Oh, I mean, I know SOS. I'm saying, did you did you signal the plane? No, I didn't signal. Them. We're in no hurry. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, now let's wrap this up real quick. Uh, people always asked about these things. Like I said, this is a 73 Forge knife from 73 Forge in California. This is the Three River Blades 1-7 machete with a G10 handle. Probably the best chopper, best chopper I've ever experienced. And then the star of the show, the new kid in town, the Boreal 24. All right, once again, I'm gonna show you real quick. Put your finger in here, pop it out. Flip it over, hold it straight up, hold this, so just straight up and down. hold this, and that's it. Nothing to it. You can carry it with your bed roll, you can carry it with your backpack. It's really there, you just flip the blade over and then just make sure everything's straight up and down. Yeah, no big deal, nothing to it. All right. <clears throat> Do that again, you can just open it up, flip it over, flip the handle over, Got that notch, bing, ready to go. Now, when you buy the pouch, I think from them, it's got a, a pocket for an extra blade. So, if you don't tell you, you can carry a dry wood blade and a green wood blade. Now, it's weird the difference in them because, for the most part, on dry wood, the dry wood blade works best. Sometimes it bounces, sometimes the green wood blade works, which is pretty neat. Look at this again. So you look at the difference in them. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. All right, this shelter was thrown together. I did a horrible job. It's very sloppy, but as you can see. I don't know, like, of all the shelters we've ever made, that's probably gotta be the most stable. Uh, yeah, it is the most stable. There ain't no doubt about it. And the other thing is, is if you wanted to, you could put sticks underneath there to support the sides out a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? Lay sticks over it before you put the cover or the palak over it. But I don't like doing that because I like it as small as it can be so that it, the more room you have in there for air, uh, the colder it's gonna be. I want, I want just enough room for me in the bag. And then of course you got the, your pot holder here. And a lot of this was, can be done with a bow saw. You can kind of stick your pack right in front, of, right in front of it, as a bit of a doorway. Yeah, and another thing you can do is if you want to carry a tarp, you can put a tarp over that. You can bring that tarp forward about two feet, like a, a twelve by twelve Harbor Freight tarp on, tarp on top of that would be great because if it does rain, you can sit out in front right here and cook and you know eat and whatever. So anyway, anything you want to add, Nick? No, I, just like I said, it's got to be the sturdiest shelter we've ever made. I mean, you can, yeah. you can really 
shake it side to side and it doesn't yeah. move at all. And those notches, you can tweak those notches as you could see on the camera how I was moving back and forth. You can tweak them to where they completely fill up the gaps that you put in them. As far as Widowmaker shelters, I would think that's probably the best shelter for it. Yeah, the bigger and the bigger the logs, the better. You can make this out of huge logs if you want to. I have before. So, all right, we're gonna wrap this up. It's gonna be dark soon. Uh, we still gotta fix Nick's hammock. I guess we gotta move this on. Yeah. Lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. Get off the couch. Stop watching TV. But watch YouTube. <laughs> yes. Love your family. Hang out with your family. Uh, just enjoy life, and we shall see you in the next one. See you later. Now the shelter's moved to where my feet are downhill. I got a bunch of logs on there. Not y'all. You're white. Don't tell them to shave. <laughs>